Yes, sir. We have to cook. Daddy, Daddy we gotta cook, Daddy. Uh, uh, uh. everyone welcome back to the first podcast i'm excited to have an audience here today live at discord.t1podcast.com today we have a very special guest mv perry welcome to the show thank you for coming on yeah i'm happy to be here it's great to be here i'm so glad i didn't scuff that this time thank god okay (laughs) Uh, that's all that's all i prepared like it's on you guys now like that's all i got (laughs) so uh perry if that is your real yeah. name, can you go ahead and well, yeah, go ahead. No, you go. It's okay. okay. No, you go. No, you hang up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go. So, uh, so can you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Yeah. So, you know, my name is MV Perry. That's my YouTube name, my social media name. My real name is actually Marcus Perry, my, Perry being my last name, but you know, I'm just so used to being Perry now. It's basically my first name. I've been doing YouTube for about four to five years, one and a half of those years. The first, one and a half year was not successful. And then suddenly I blew up after trying super hard, trying different types of content. I make mostly anime, gaming, and just whatever's currently trending in that kind of niche content. Uh, My most famous series is probably what your favorite blank says about you. And I have another one where I talk about characters and their favorite foods or their biggest fears or other just things like that. So yeah, it's it's been good, it's been fun, and I I plan to keep making content for as long as I can. Very nice. That's that's really wholesome. A little bit too yeah. wholesome. That's okay though. Uh, Tristan, you had <laughs> you said you had a series of topics and questions for our esteemed multicultural guest. Why don't you go ahead and get into them? Why do you, Lars? Why do you always put me on the spot every single episode? You just like I doing. I just this assumed to me, you were prepared just, for like, the podcast. I I, I just kind of scuttle and flubber mm-hmm. and no, you know what? No, I did not prepare. Any questions for Perry? Because we're homies. He's my he's my friend, and I've known him a long time. We got my homie. We're gonna chill, yeah. and we're gonna shoot okay. the shit. So go ahead and begin uh, shit shooting. Go ahead, uh, start the process. Okay, okay, Perry. Yeah. Perry, what is your what is your opinion on women? Uh, women are cool. Yeah. Okay, that's it. These are some hard hitting questions, Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's okay. Trish, can you can you put a little bit more into it than that? Can you can you uh, <laughs> can, <laughs> act like you've done a podcast yeah. before? I know, what episode trying. of the podcast is this? <laughs> I think I this is like know. what what one hundred seventy two or something at this point. <laughs> yeah, but he's been, barely okay, okay, been okay, on a me, fraction of yeah, that. Yeah, but still. So. Okay. okay, okay. Hey Perry, um, what is your favorite type of content to create? My favorite type of content to create, honestly, would be skit type videos where, you know, either in cosplay or not cosplay, but like, I don't make those types of videos. That's the types of videos I made early on in my career uh, and they didn't really go anywhere. So I'll make one like maybe once a year or something, but those are actually my favorite to make. Um, But you know, with YouTube, you got to kind of make what works and what's working for you as a creator uh, with like the views and what the audience wants. So if I just made whatever I personally wanted, (laughs) my channel would probably end up dying. So eventually I plan to do like skits and stuff again, stuff I really, really like doing in the future, but it's going to be a while. It's, it's going to take time to get that ball rolling. Hey, I mean, it seems like you are in somewhat of a position to kind of branch off and do semi content that you want to do. Yeah. And, and like, follow-up. even like the content I do, I do enjoy it. I like making my videos. I love my job. This is what I wanted to do. I worked my ass off because I didn't want to go to college and at the last second before I was, you know, too old to like keep doing this dream, it finally worked out. So I'm lucky for that. Um, so yeah, I do enjoy what I do, but stuff I really, really want to do, I'm going to be trying to go for that in the future as well. And what is the stuff you really, really want to do in content creation? Well, I mean, if we're really getting down to the heart of it, one day I plan to, you know, make a movie, actually direct a movie, but the for content like YouTube type content, uh, you know, I'm not trying to make a whole ass movie, one hour video on YouTube. It's more like just 
fun two to 10 minute skits uh, with lots of jokes and um, yeah, like real life costumes and stuff. Like people these days on YouTube, like the skits will be very low quality. Like they'll have, they'll be wearing the clothes they woke up with or whatever, and they'll just make jokes and stuff. And that's fine. I'm cool with that. But there's something I really like about that early stage of YouTube. You know, I don't know if you're familiar with Smosh, but they would dress up and everything and they'd like make all these jokes and skits together. And that's the kind of stuff that I would love to make one day, even if it's not relevant anymore, the same way it was like some years ago. Wait, are you talking about, I um, also, are you, are you talking about early Smosh or like post Anthony Padilla leaving kind of no, like corporate? No, no, no. Okay. No, definitely not. Yeah, no, I liked early Smosh. That was the fun stuff. There was yeah. heart in it. And you know, they, their production is way up now, but I just, it's mm. not the same. I like the OG Smosh. No, we were talking about goods. Yeah, exactly. Ghetto, yeah. ghetto Smosh. Yeah, ghetto, yeah, so that's stuff was crazy. I love it. <laughs> I feel bad because I actually know, I actually know like someone the, on the, uh, on like the, 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 the like later Smosh team. And I know that they work really hard and they have like a bunch of like really talented people there at the moment. But I don't know. I feel like the soul's a little bit gone. At this well, that's, point. that's the weird thing is like, so I'll watch some of their newer videos every now and, get, now and then just to see like, what is it like? Mm -hmm. And like, you can tell it's professional. They got people working on this. You got clever jokes written in, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just something about the way Ian and Anthony had their friendship connection and you yeah. know, that's gone now. I don't know. Time goes well, by. It's also, it's very scrubbed now because they're definitely playing it safe and that's everything true. is like extremely like scripted. That's true. And I, I mean, but you know, that's also just the criticism of just like current culture and like humor and entertainment. Like I loved back in the day on YouTube, you could say anything and you could get away with it. It's not like that anymore, but that's just, you know, a personal preference. I yeah. like that kind of wait, humor. Wait, 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 hold on. Jamie, pull up some of MV Perry's old videos and scan for. Oh yeah, words. guys. It's just, uh, <laughs> uh Oh, uh Oh, yeah, there's, there's some sus stuff in the old videos of mine. No racial, but there's definitely some words now mm. that would get me canceled if they were said in this time. Yeah, definitely. Um, Care to elaborate <laughs> on those words? <laughs> it, probably some words that Linus Tech Tips said. Yeah. Wait, didn't Linus Tech Tips just get canceled for being like a racist, sexist, misogynist, homophobe? Um, like, uh, what was that? No, he used... Holy he, shit, he that used, was a word salad. He used the hard R. I don't know anything about Linus except that he does a tech channel and stuff. Yeah. And back in the day, you know, I'd, I'd watch his uh, reviews and stuff. He seemed to be pretty professional at what he did. Yeah. That must be mm -hmm. cool having your entire job just being like, I'm going to give you guys some uh, technology tips and uh, yeah, building PCs and all that. Here's a, here's a million dollars for, for me. For the, for the record, he didn't get canceled. He almost got canceled because he made a flub, but then he corrected it. Oh, okay. he, real, he realized... Because he, he didn't seem to uh, realize what hard R meant. Oh. And then he realized, oh, yeah. So he was like, so this word, is this hard R? So he was like going through the like, the list of slurs? Or what, what do you mean? No, he said that he used to, in his old, he was look, watching his old videos. He was noting like he was saying a word that isn't as acceptable today as it was it. back then on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it's a word that starts with R. And he kept calling it the hard R, but he didn't realize that oh. meant the N word. Oh, <laughs> he was talking about a different word. I'm oh. lost. I actually have no idea what this word is. Oh, but... is he talking about the, a word the, for the, the developmentally disabled or something? Or is that what yes, yes, okay. yes, yeah, that one. Yeah, I like how before the show, Perry's like, "All right, let's not talk yeah. about anything controversial," mm -hmm. and we're already into racial slurs. Yeah. Not even <laughs> ten minutes in. <laughs> By the way, yeah, I, go ahead. No, you go. No, you go. Say, Come on. Yeah. No, uh, I won't. I won't hang up until you say no. Okay. Um. So okay, there is something that came up, and I, I do kind of want to talk about it for a second, just because it's been definitely. it's been bugging me, and uh, this isn't really Perry related, but I don't know if you guys have been seeing this because I, I I feel really bad for the individual in question, which is that there is someone on the Mr. Beast team right now who is kind of oh, no. going through something right now. Um in that they have discovered something about themselves uh, in terms of their gender and um, people are really hammering them at the moment. Have you guys, have you guys seen the story about Chris? I've, I'm actually, yeah, I have I've, zero I've, info on this Mr. B stuff. Like okay. I, I watch Mr. B sometimes, but I haven't heard anything about this. Okay. So if you guys are familiar with Chris, the meme God, um, mm -hmm. uh, this is an, an individual who is very much a kind of a good old boy, kind of like Southern type. Um, yeah, like the definition of like manly yeah. man, like southern guns. Like he knows how to do like all the mm -hmm. cool like camping survival. Yeah, stuff. and by the by the way, uh, he said any pronouns are cool, so he is still fine. But um, 
yeah, it's it's it to to no one's surprise. I think if you've been watching his their videos for a while, that Chris has come out as trans and and to be honest, it's not really that big of a deal. Like it's because it's like it's 2023 and who cares? But a lot of people are really shitting on him, and I I feel really bad because it's like they're saying like, well, this is the end of the Mr. Beast channel, and they're they're like he, he needs to quit and and everything needs to change, and, and it's it's like good God, just and it's not like. It's not even like nudges yeah. or like suggestions. Like it's like in mass, like hundreds of thousands of people are doing this all over mm-hmm. any social platform where they're just shitting on Chris as much as possible, and they're blaming this other member, Carl, yeah. like for turning him gay. But Carl's not gay, <laughs> and I know. But like Carl was always kind of like more metrosexual with like fashion. And he he like paints his nails, nails, dude. Otherwise, he just looks like a typical I indie know. dude. Just because Carl paints his nails, people are blaming him for making Chris, I guess, transgender, and that makes zero yeah. sense. Yeah. All that I know about Carl is that he has like the the patty melt on the Mr. Beast burger menu. Mm-hmm. That's well, that's literally it. I don't watch Mr. Beast. Yeah, I, don't, so I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. Mr. Beast, like the guy, and I know his videos. Mm. The only one like on the crew that I know of is I think Chan- Chandler, because like yeah. I don't know for, for some reason he stands out to me. <laughs> well, yeah, that's another thing. Like everyone's like, we got to protect Chan- Chandler from all this. Like, get rid of Chris and Carl. Well, are people Chandler. complaining saying like the Mr. Beast, the Mr. Beast channel should quit or something, or what is? The, oh no, they're saying like, well, Chris needs to Chris divorce himself particular. from the channel. It's it's okay because all I know for sure is. You know, controversy, all that stuff aside, Mr. Beast is not someone who's going to quit the channel. Like, that's not going to no, happen. Like, he's going to no. keep, yeah, that's not going to happen. Like, no, I don't he, even know what he, anyone is thinking because, yeah, that's not going to happen. No, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, I mean, there, even if he did, they would still find, they would still do some sort of weird AI thing to probably, like, revive him at that point. Because <laughs> this is like yeah, a hundred million dollar, like, brand at this point. No, Mr. This Beast is, is yeah, he's yeah. like the one of the most dedicated, like, YouTubers out there. Like, he yeah. puts his, his whole soul into it. So, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel like it's that big of a deal to be trans. It, I say this as, like, the most cisgender, straightest person in the world. Just stop caring about yeah, like, this. Yeah, I've, like, I've seen his cock. It's very yeah, straight. Yeah, just, guys, just, like, stop. It's not that big of a deal. It's also, like, if you, if you watch videos where he's in, it's the same guy. He's just, he's just gender non-conforming. Like, he's still making jokes. He's still the same person. So just, it's, I don't know, just leave people alone. That's what I'm saying. Like, if, and that's all. Another thing is, like, people keep taking these clips of, like, Jimmy and Chris together mm-hmm. and saying, oh my mm-hmm. gosh, look at how uncomfortable Jimmy is. <laughs> look at, look at Jimmy. He, like, wants to let out his, like, his old self where he didn't like trans It's people. bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. And, yeah, no. I know, and it's just like the only reason he looks uncomfortable is probably because of like all the in- the hate and the comments they're getting mm-hmm. from Chris's transition. Oh, I gotta be honest, Mr. Beast himself, like something about his face. This t- a lot of times when it seems like he's like uncomfortable, yeah. but it's, I feel like it's because he's managing, you know, like a hundred things at a time. Like he's got a lot of stuff he's doing. Yeah, no, he's uh, just stressed out. Yeah. Like he's not uncomfortable. He just has like a million things going. Yeah, no, he he's also be, like the most stressed person on the planet. He also had like a bunch of Botox when he was younger, so like his face, his face is kind of like frozen in that weird kind of like. Are you kidding me, Mr. Upper, Beast? That upper lip thing where he's like, she's like that's, that's 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 a whole new fact. I had no idea. Oh, I like, just completely I made up that fact. Doing... Just yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, just, okay. Because okay. that makes more sense. I was gonna say most of the you're people being gas- you're being gaslit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gaslit by Lars. This is the first time it's happened to me. Yeah. But, no, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, because old people always get Botox. So I'm like, what? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's not even that old. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's not old, so I'm surprised. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's let's move on from let's move on from um, yeah. you know, let's move on from gaslighting the guest. <laughs> <laughs> Do something a little bit more yeah. positive. So if there's if there's questions, general questions for me or uh, questions from the audience. I mean, I don't know how you do the podcast. I'm okay with whatever. I'm I'm just here. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And mm-hmm. just to clarify, there's no real set format necessarily. Although we do obviously put it out there that. Um, if, if the guest has any topics they really want to get to, we will hundred okay. percent make sure to get to them. So if there's any content that you're looking to particularly promote, we can discuss that. If you have any projects on the table, we're happy to get to those. Otherwise, basically Spaghetto just kind of guides the conversation along and we, you know, let him blaze the trail. Uh, Why do you right, always Spaghetto. put me on the spot? I'm not. What the I'm giving fuck? you a chance to shine on the podcast is one of the newest hosts, dude. 
Yeah, and okay, Spaghetto, okay, that's Spaghetto's it. Spaghetto's the one who I know. Like, I have a connection with Spaghetto. Yeah. I remember, I think it's been, it's been years, you know. I, I remember seeing you, Spaghetto, I remember seeing you get to 10K subscribers, and I think you got that before me. And I was thinking in my mind, like, yo, it was either 1K or 10K, but I'm pretty sure it was 10K. And I was like, okay, this guy's making it. I can do it, too. That was an inspiration for me. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I was at Goodwill. I was at a thrift store, and I get a notification from a comment from you says spaghetto a youtuber with 10k subscribers whatever like i check your channel i'm like yo 10k person commented on my channel okay awesome that's insane because um i i have a lot of like memory issues from that time period so i'm glad that you telling me that so i can just kind of remember in a weird way like Man, it's <laughs> nice to actually hear that. Yeah, it's true. It was, it was a fun experience because I remember seeing that notification, checking out your channel, being like, yo, okay, I'm, I'm making some connections here. You know, this guy's got 10K. Uh, he's in the Doki Doki community. <laughs> like, we got this. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Like, um, a big reason, like, things faltered off is just some health issues. So I'm really happy to hear that, like, I at least helped inspire someone to do what they've always done. 100%, been definitely. That's awesome, man. I'm I'm really happy for you, and I'm glad you're doing what you're wanting to do. Yeah, thanks. And nice. I, I've gotten back into this because Lars was like, "Hey, do you want to come back onto the podcast?" And I I hadn't made content for like almost two years, and I'm like, "Absolutely, sure." And it just kind of took off from there, and it's reignited my passion for it heavily. And I've realized that making videos has always been my dream, yeah. and I really want that to succeed. Yeah, and. I'm I'm excited and I really want to just put myself out there and try and get going again. So thank you for telling me that. And it's going to be used as motivation for, I don't know, the next several years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have to say, because, you know, you, you do you've been doing YouTube stuff and, you know, content creation for a while now, even if you had like a two year break or whatever. But I will say this. I've noticed it with myself and with other creators, anyone who's done kind of content creation is like, even if you take a break or whatever, it's not, it's not going to stay. You always come back to it. Like that's just, and not you. I mean, one, like yeah. it's just part of our soul. It's something that calls you and you always want to come back and start making more videos. You always, you're walking around getting new ideas of things you want to make. It's just kind of built into us. It's like that and one quote. I, I know what you uh, mean. Just when I thought I oh, was out, ahead, they pull me back in. Yeah. It's like the, exactly. The exactly. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I tried really hard to like, break myself away from it and it did not work i got pulled back in and now it's just like non-stop like every day i'm posting videos every day i'm trying to like get the tiktok channel going every day i'm like going on instagram twitter making connections with people and thinking about okay what type of content can i do next and it's really exciting because it's so rewarding when you finally finish that video and even if just one person or one comment on that says hey this was nice it's just like I made a person happy. It and, is super, super rewarding. I agree. Mm -hmm. And if that's all I get, it's just one comment of someone saying, hey, I'm happy you're here, then it's all worth it to me. It always will be. Yeah. I, I agree it's 100%. That those human moments, just seeing a comment, reading it, even if it's not a comment that's like super in-depth or anything, just knowing that somebody saw this and appreciated it, that, that is always something that I love. Well, like um, on my last video, someone commented balls and that made me laugh. And even <laughs> though it's like it's really stupid, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I don't know. It just it made me laugh. And I was happy to see that. Like, <laughs> I don't care like what the comment yeah, is. Yeah, that's something. But at oh, least that's a person. someone was there and enjoyed it and decided to just say something. Exactly. Yeah. And I will say this for anyone uh, who is trying to do like content creation and stuff is like, you know, it's probably built into them and, you know, you want to keep making videos and stuff. I will say if, if being a successful content creator is like super important to you, I think one of the most important things, if you're starting out and like, or if, if you haven't taken off yet is to keep trying new things. I've had other YouTubers who were bigger than me, way bigger than me uh, when I was just starting out, uh, somehow, uh, give me advice. And that was the same advice is don't be afraid to try new things. Cause a lot of times as creators, we have a particular type of thing we want to do, and that's awesome, but the truth is not everyone else in the world wants that same thing. Then not everyone else wants to view that. So if you keep trying out, I think of it as throwing out different fishing lines. The moment one of them bites, then you can keep running with that. That could be trying out different, if you want to do gaming content, it would be trying to cover different types of games instead of just one particular niche or trying uh, you know, different types of anime or different types of movies, literally whatever is out there. If you keep trying different types of stuff, 
and you're committed and you make quality content, eventually something will bite and you can work your way up from that. And actually that comes into correlation with how I've been running my channel as of late because I've been playing um, Demon Souls, which is like the, the remake, which is a new game. Yeah. Ah, like Dark Soul gaming. And I've also been throwing like um, I've been playing Super Ghouls and Ghosts on the channel as well to like have like that retro game gaming. As he likes well. the kind of games where he's and, like banging his head against the wall repeatedly and hoping to make progress. Yep, that's that's the thing. Like I I really like playing notoriously difficult games on the mm. channel. I can't do that because I end up raging. Like I, I've broken too many controllers and keyboards from yeah. games that frustrate me. That's why I have I'm never going, broken anything. <laughs> I, I'm happy for you because I I was so close. I got the Bloodborne disc. I ejected it out of the PS4. I was looking at that thing for five minutes, just ready to snap it. It took every ounce of my being not to snap that yeah. disc. Well, Tristan is being deeply sarcastic. He's broken many, <laughs> many, many controllers. He's he's over at GameStop. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. That makes a lot no, more no, sense. No, 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 that's bullshit. I have never broken a controller. Don't you slander well, me. I mean, I, I've seen your your your, your trash bins. And also, and Lars was saying, they're, like, they're do you just, of, like, torturing shots, yourself so. with these games? I'm like, yeah, I'm playing Super Ghouls and yeah, Ghosts. Yeah, and then, don't, like, don't just the next day, I'm like, okay, I already beat it. But, yeah, Tristan, you have been playing the Souls-like games for a minute now. And I think that... You have any plans for uh, any other oh. game? Like, what happened? Oh, there goes. Oh, Pararino. Uh oh, we're uh, bringing back into the call, guys. Uh, hi, I died. My my Wi-Fi. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Ah, oh, bummer. I thought Lars like was joking and like server muted me because no. <laughs> things got really quiet. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. You're good. So, um, well, also Tristan, by the way. Since we're kind of like being in a in a in a positive mode at the moment, I will say mm -hmm. I think you and I have some chemistry when it comes to the videos we have planned coming out on your channel, and I think that's going to go really well because because uh, we've been doing some vampire survivors content that should be out by the time this episode is out, uh, assuming TJ will have finished editing it uh, by then. How about that, TJ? Do you hey, think that's going to be done TJ, by then? I have, I have, I have the first part done. Okay. Okay, well then come over to my house so I can beat you up. What? Okay. No, no, no. No, because... <laughs> I so mean, sorry, by, so by, I can upload the video. By chemistry, so video. you mean like you, you two have gotten together and learned how to make Here math we and go. you got like a, 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 a Walter White... Here we go! Here we go! A Walter White, Jesse Pinkman yep. kind of dynamic every, going. Every episode, Here we go. Harry, he has to reference Breaking Bad. He has to say that address God, every time. It. You guys gotta invite me. I'll be Pinkman because I got pink hair. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Science. All right, do, do your best Jesse Pinkman impression, go. Yo, Mr. White, this shit is fire, yo. <laughs> that, that wasn't All right, bad, TJ, actually. do your, do your uh, Jesse, yeah, science. Jesse, we have to cook. Jesse, Jesse we gotta cook, Jesse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate this show. You're the one who's doing the oh. jokes. <laughs> I don't okay. care. My name's Skylar <laughs> White, yo. Yeah, I can attest. Breaking My husband bad. is Walter White. Yo. Yo, this isn't. This is not a Breaking Bad podcast. How is how is our Breaking it's Bad segment though, on every yeah. episode? So okay, okay, there, okay. Do we have another question? Yeah, or, we do. We do. Uh, we do. Topic. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. What's your address, yeah. guys? Come on. Just okay, okay, okay. Perry. So I've I've been wanting to ask this question for a while. Do you know who Elon Musk is? I do know who Elon Musk is. I mean, I think most people. Okay. Do, yeah. Okay. There we go with this. Do you are you from are you familiar with like um. Loki and stuff with how he's like just a little shithead and likes to like just cause havoc. I am not too involved in like all the stuff about like you know every week it seems like there's a new drama or something connected to him. Wait, Loki. So is this is this about like a particular thing or just in general about? I, I think he's I just think in general. Marvel Loki. Okay. Wait, what are you? Shut no, up, I'm, Lars. I'm confused. No, I'm no, no. To, let him cook. I'm talking about the Norse let him, god. Let like, him. Let him cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Okay. Jesus. So my theory is, is like. Harry, what if Elon Musk is like a god that is just here to like fuck with us and just like do the most absurd things? I believe that anyone who has that amount of money is low key a god on this earth. And that's what happens. You know, you can do whatever you want pretty much when you're at that level. So he might not technically be like a god in the sense that he's in the in heaven yeah. and he has abilities, but he may as well with, you know, with that amount of money, you can pretty much do anything. Yeah, you kind of can. Exactly. Yeah. Like he's just just doing whatever he wants and it's i think he does it just to piss people off yeah like, no i mean as somebody funny. like i get elon musk in the sense that i would probably be doing all sorts of crazy things if i had that money and power like including just 
stuff for trolling reasons and I'd act like, oh, it's part of the company or it's part of a strategy to do this. No, I'd just be trolling my ass off. I'd be trolling everybody. It would be fun. <laughs> Although I think there is. Perry's just like, if I ever get successful, I'm just going to. Yeah, I mean, I already do on a people. small level. I mean, I yeah. do. I buy so much dumb shit. And I, I, for the dumbest reasons, and like I, my plan, I, I plan to buy 200 rubber ducks uh, next week, small ones, mini rubber ducks, mm -hmm. and just spread them all throughout Walmart because well, it'll be fun. Yeah. In the case of Elon, oh, okay. he, yeah, invite me. he didn't get his money from being successful. He got his buddy because he inherited. Yeah, he got dad. his money from his dad running like a barium, like mine or something an emerald mine yeah an emerald mine because jay aubrey our, bu though? our buddy jay aubrey did a video about that and i learned a mm -hmm. lot about a, a lot about a lot, a, lot, a, lot, a lot about the dude and uh yeah it turns out that everything that you think that he uh is either responsible for or started he did was mm -hmm. not responsible for and did not start like every single company he did was not the founder of and he yeah. literally is just like the like the face of it for a little while so yeah, that's he just invests money into stuff. He doesn't really, he hasn't really founded any companies. No, <laughs> he has not. I haven't d done a deep dive into Elon Musk as a person and like how he got his money, all that stuff. But I will say, you know, he's been running this stuff for how long now? I don't know. Million I would think he has to have some sort of skill level because mm -hmm. I mean, he might not be a mastermind genius, but I think he has to have some kind of skill level just to keep the money. Because I've seen, I've seen NBA players have a mm -hmm. hundred million dollars and blow that shit like it's gone like oh, within a year yeah so he I has a skill in uh something. conning people oh he has yeah a skill maybe, in it's, conning. maybe it's conning guys he's got yeah, something. yeah yeah just to be clear uh, uh, yeah. he's a skilled investor clearly that that doesn't make you yeah, a good, yeah, a good yeah. person it just means yeah, yeah, yeah. He's well, whether we're money. talking about morality yeah. or anything yeah i'm yeah. talking about specifically I feel like he's got to have some sort of skill some way. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's like where he is. Yeah, that's yeah. like saying, you know, Donald Trump is good at rousing people with his speeches. Like that's that doesn't make him a good person, yeah, but is. it's an observation. He's funny. Yeah. Uh -huh. There you go. Yeah. So there is that. Uh wow, we've picked just about every controversial topic you can. <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, normally, um, normally I'd be I'd be like, no, I can't do, talk about this stuff, but Spaghetto's a homie, so I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, it, I, I, you know what, Perry? I appreciate Can we talk that. about something nice so, and, and wholesome for a second? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. No, 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 I, I have you. a topic. So I have Perry. a topic. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay, go ahead. Go okay. ahead. I'll let and you go. The military industrial complex. And this is something that you're going to you're gonna be interested in, Spaghetto. Why did you whisper in my ear? It sounded like extremely like, sus. Well, why did yeah, you just. Between you two. You guys why did, more than I realized. Spaghetto, I, I just noticed you sprung a <laughs> huge boner, so I think that may have been a plus. What the f what? Yeah, it made he an audible cartoon boy <laughs> sound like a like a old Hanna Barbera cartoon. Listen, if I either confirm nor deny it, people are still con gonna condemn yep. me and be like, "Yeah, he's got a boner either way." So I'm you just put me in a shitty situation, Lars. All Thanks. right. So now that we've now that we've successfully <laughs> so gaslit the audience, topic? okay. All right. So here it is. So okay. So mm -hmm. there's been an a, 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 an adventure. Um. A, a, uh, uh, what's the term? It's like a, it's an adventure, but different. It's been like a grandiose, um, a quest, odyssey. a quest, uh, it's been an odyssey, a okay. thingy, Mario Odyssey. It's been, um, a tabu, <sighs> whatever the word is, it's been a, a, a journey oddity. and a half. It's been, uh, a, a, a trip, 2001 a space odyssey. It's been a, a way. Okay. So you know how. Are you having a stroke? There, there and back, there and back again. <laughs> like like, in, Lo Let like in Lord of the Rings. Let me land. Shut the hell up, TJ. Let me land. Okay, so, guys. So you know how McDonald's, by my house, okay, has been playing Christmas music for way, way too late into the year, right? Right, Tristan? Okay. Did they finally stop? So they changed it. To really soft instrumental like coffee rock tracks. I'll, I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. It's better than. Yeah, Christmas I'll take music. that too. Yeah, because okay, so for anyone who's tuning in for the first time, the, the McDonald's near me ha was playing Christmas music for many many weeks and then many many months after Christmas, and it was just like not. It was not okay. Like it was not okay. Like it, it was not fucking yeah, like that was, okay to just keep doing this to people that was my welcome back to content creation yeah. is i got really pissed off about mcdonald's yeah it's Christmas not okay and also oatmeal. yeah it's just not like, ugh. you can't just do that to people you can't do that to the to the employees you can't do that to the customers 
just it's not okay. Lars, you're peeking. Calm yeah. down. And so, are they playing like like knock off Imagine Dragons or something? Well, yeah, it, it, do you guys you guys ever go to Chick Fil A? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Okay. No, you know how they have that really, really, really soft instrumental music? No, I don't. Okay. I always order on DoorDash. Okay. <laughs> I look. I go through the drive thru <laughs> Yeah. Tell me you're rich without telling me. <laughs> tell me you're rich. Oh, I just yeah, I just ordered it myself today. So I, yeah, I, I know that Legit. life. Oh, successful content creation. Lars, oh, what? What? You, you do you do know that Spaghetto doesn't go to Chick Fil A because he's vegan, right? Oh, I thought it was because he. Spaghetto, you're vegan. Oh my! No, you guys, you you outed me. <laughs> I was trying to keep this a oh, secret. Oh, oh, oh no! I thought you were gonna say you don't go no, to Chick Fil A because you're wow. you're supportive of the gay community. I, just, I never would have known. Oh, okay. I know I, I don't I don't brand myself as vegan because there's such a negative connotation. Are you like, well, can are you you like the him? vegan who's like chill with everyone or are you like the vegan who's like <laughs> yeah, a Tristan. vegan teacher? Yeah, Tristan. We talk about you know, it no, regularly Perry, on the what, podcast. What was the last thing you ate? What was the last thing you ate? Who, me? Me. Yes, me. you. I'm trying to think. I don't Post even know, eight. man. Probably Jamba me. Jamba juice peanut butter? Does that count? It's not vegan! There's dairy in it! <laughs> Just ask them to take the milk out. Trust it. Is it like, no, I, is I it like I don't really give like a animals? shit about what... I don't give a shit about the animals. Okay. I mean, I would I would kill them for fun. Yeah, same. Uh, there, there's the cold yeah. open. But, um, he eats cats. <laughs> I just eat vegan because I have to. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, he'll die if he doesn't. Yeah, I... I have like a messed up stomach, so yeah. Yeah, okay. Then I thought because I have a cousin, it's like the weirdest thing. He he can't go. He has to tell people at the restaurant that he's vegan, but he's not because he he drinks milk like crazy. He eats cheese like no tomorrow, but he has a specific problem with eggs. So it's like it's weird phobia of eggs, and mm. any, anywhere he goes, he, he constantly has to say that. Like, oh, is there any eggs? Is he just vegetarian? No, it's weird. It's like, well, I mean, he doesn't eat meat and eggs. Those are two and fish, meat, eggs, and fish. And what happened well, was that's just vegetarian. Well, I, I know, but it's like eggs on top of that. It's like this weird other thing. Oh, I don't know if you guys have vegetarian. seen. I don't know if you guys. Well, because he loves milk and cheese, so it's yeah. weird. I don't know if you guys have seen that game back in the day called Can Your Pet, where it's like, um, mm. there's like, yes, yeah, oh I'm, my. He he swears it's not that. I swear that's what it was. He watched that game or he played that game, and that's what happened. He he so go out of his way to say it's not, but I know it is. If this, Let's play that game together, Perry, and make a video. That's a fun game. We should. If this person were to watch the old 1960s Batman TV show, would he be afraid of Egghead, like the Batman he'd villain? Be like, he'd, be, he'd be like screaming at the top of his lungs. He'd be turning off the TV. Is he, afraid of, uh, is he afraid of Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold on. I have, I have a theory with his egg problem. He avoids them in public because he's so attracted to them that he'll just pop a raging boner he i if he heard this he would die right now it's podcast he would actually if, die. if he, uh if danny devito walked up to him and he's like would you like an egg in this trying time would he be scared he would he'd say no he'd slap it out of his hand and then freak out that his hand touched the egg and wash it for 20 minutes you guys remember that episode do you guys actually remember that episode by the way where like charlie swallows out those like little blood capsule capulets and like uh like he's trying to do this plan where he dates this girl and like mm -hmm. and Danny DeVito's character Frank is gonna like swoop in because he's like the he's like the the car driver and then he but then Charlie just like pukes blood all over like continuously for like thirty seconds. <laughs> As someone who has no context to what the hell you're talking yeah, about, always, 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 I, I, always I don't sunny. Know. Yeah, you guys ever okay? So, so there, there's you guys know the 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 meme. Can, can I? They interest you in a tri in a nice egg in this trying time. Yeah, yeah I know that. Meme. Yeah, it's from it's always sunny. And the actual scene, which no one ever talks about, is like one of the most vile scenes in television history. It's like puking blood for like a minute straight on like this nice woman, and she's screaming bloody murder. And it's just really funny because like the context for that scene is is really macabre. I would have never known yeah. it came from such a messed up scene. It is, yeah. Well, Lars, like. You don't like look at the woman you want to date and be like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, let me sauce her up and then just puke blood on her. Like, no, the, no, the, the, no, I the don't. The Magnum Dong quote that he said earlier was also from Always Sunny. It's another thing that Danny yeah. DeVito says. In it the does, show. yeah, and it, yeah. Um, good, good show by the way. Great show. In fact, that's a fantastic episode, and it, it's a really funny scene in context. But um, so, so Tristan, so you would we... you would know Charlie Day because he plays Luigi in the new Mario movie. Oh my gosh, I know who Charlie Day Mario. is, TJ. Okay. Well, I'm 
because like I know every he actor. Play, he in plays the Donkey movie, Kong. He's the only one. Donkey I don't know. Kong. Yeah. Oh, Seth Rogen. <laughs> 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 I like to drink weed. <laughs> All right. How is it, Pineapple Express? <laughs> Tristan. What? You're telling me you had some like really hard hitting questions uh, for Perry? Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 I, Perry, since we've talked about controversial topics, racism, misogyny, and even child abuse, would you like to hear my next hard hitting topic? Let's get right into it, baby. Dr. Eggman. Would you sell pictures of your butthole for 100K? It's hard because a hundred k. That's you know, it's a it's a fair amount. Yeah. But, uh, shit, man, I'm thinking about it. I, I wouldn't. I want I want that bag, but not that bag. I hear you, man. And also, yeah. like, you got to You got to realize, like, um, there's a weird market for that right now because, like, what Nick Avocado, Avocado sells his butthole for, like, what, like ten dollars a month on OnlyFans. So, it's it's like it's a hard bargain if you're gonna sell yours for a hundred thousand. Someone could get like ten thousand, you know, Nicocado uh, avocado tacos. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I can't compete with that. Yeah. Like, what's the point even? Exactly. Like the market yeah. value of asshole has dropped considerably for male butthole recently. Um, so I don't know, Tristan. I mean, yeah, like Nicocado avocado tanked the yeah. economy. It's like, um, like you used to be able to sell your butthole for like a considerable top dollar because it's like male butthole was just like not really. It, it was like so pretty rare. Like it was pretty rare to mm. see like a content creator's male butthole out for like available for people. But now it's like male butthole is just like widely available. So it's like um like male butthole just um it's I don't know, man. Yeah. Male butthole. This is, this is a very interesting topic and exactly <laughs> what I thought we were gonna be talking about when I joined the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Now, would your friend be scared going. if, if an egg <laughs> an egg came out of a butthole? I mean, I think oh, anybody would be scared of that. Yeah. I, I feel like that's. I mean, he'd be freaked out on another level, but I think most people wouldn't want to see that. I was just gonna keep going until someone stopped me there. Yeah, if, if, if Sorry, we have I'm, I'm choking on my hey, spit. Chad, if, 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 if you could hear me, like that, I'm cool with them. Chad, oh, if you could hear okay, me, can you post on. pictures of Doctor Eggman in the chat, please? Thank you. Just spam it. At discord.t1podcast.com if you want to tune into these episodes live and uh, speak to the hosts and the guest, as well as find out when new episodes are coming and new episodes are going. I like how after the butthole topic, like, several people left the yeah, call. I did notice. That's okay, though. I'm trying to figure out what's happening because I think, I think my audience is, like, at school or something because I pinged at here and there's, like, no one here except, like... <laughs> Three people. Oh, hi, Tabitha. I know you, and an audience. You can't respond, but I see you. I told you, man. I I, like, I was telling I was telling my mods that like, if you mm -hmm. make an announcement that you're gonna go do a project on someone else's server, like yeah, ten percent of the people are gonna see it. Ten percent of the people are gonna consider clicking that, and then ten percent yeah. of them are actually gonna like show up for it. it no, you're, you're super right yeah. about that. Because if I do this, if I do a Q and A or whatever on my server, mm -hmm. there's gonna be people so it's it's strange to me but yep. you know that's just how it works mm -hmm. i don't know what it is cross promotion is hard man it's difficult yeah. to do just like selling butthole picks it's uh hard to do these days i feel like that's that's a little easier honestly yeah probably <laughs> yeah all right Justin. speaking of the podcast though yeah we'll continue but uh what is like the time frame for this like how like when does this end i think uh perry's trying to get out of here <laughs> as quick as he possible. wants to so he wants to leave already. Harry, what you don't realize is that once you get on the podcast, you can never leave. <laughs> I'm stuck here eternally. Yeah, this is your. Yeah, this. you're gonna be a host. Next so time. you died, Perry, uh, yesterday, and this is hell. That makes this sense. Is like, this is like, your punishment. Yeah, rest in peace. I didn't get to confession in time. Yeah. So um, yeah, like I used to be a guest on the show, and now I'm just you're stuck just here. here. You're eternally in this call. It's like Hotel yeah. California. Yeah, I love that song actually. So at about. It's three almost. So at three thirty, that's when I gotta go because I got more recording stuff to take care of. But I can save until then for sure. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, um, uh, Tabitha is saying that she has some people that may actually want to ask some questions. If that's the case, Ooh. then I'm all for them. This would actually be a good time right, for Perry. this, by the way, Tabitha, because usually traditionally, ping everyone uh, in your server for toward, the towards the <clears throat> yeah towards the end of the episodes. We, we generally do actually have like actual questions for. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
And usually this is things are a little bit more organized. I guess Tristan has uh, decided to really kind of like um, grunge up the. Uh, I thought you'd be. Yeah, I thought you would be a little bit more prepared since this was someone that you invited, yeah. Tristan. I didn't feel the need to prepare and you're, you're, because you're just I've like Gary um, for a so long to, time. And we're to just gaslight our out. guest, what would you sell your butthole for? It's like, do you have something a little bit more substantial? <laughs> I already talked about what I wanted to talk to him about, which was the content I, creation, and it was really wholesome. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I mean, it's just it's good to see you, Perry. It's been a yeah, long time. Yeah, it's good to see you. I'm glad to you're still you you're still kicking it. Yeah, like if you, we're gonna be kicking it for a long time. That's great to hear. Well, yeah, I hope so. Like, <laughs> I hope you guys still talk <laughs> after this. Like, I hope this isn't the last time. No, like this is it. Like this is the end of the friendship. <laughs> Um, I mean, if you guys, I mean, if you want, if you want me I, to, to, to ungrunge the the thing, I mean, I, I can, we can get into some mm-hmm. like more serious stuff. I do want to apologize though. I, I usually am more prepared, but like I've been, I was very sick yesterday and uh, I was up almost all night. So I feel very shitty today. Oh, that's too yeah, bad. Okay. Yeah. Get, you know, get well soon. You know, Perry, since you like, do I, those, uh, um, oh wait, no, I'll let, I'll let you continue. I'm sorry. What I'm saying is, what I'm about to say was, is really stupid. <laughs> I do have I do have a backup topic in in the pocket if you all want to oh, let's, let's take that out of the pocket. I was gonna give suggest since you make those uh what your favorite character says about you videos. Yeah. I was gonna give a like a suggestion. <laughs> okay, what is it? Uh, what your what your favorite Breaking Bad character says about you? I want to make that. The, oh you know, that's my the only reason I haven't made that yet because like normally I would. So literally the only reason I haven't made that yet is because of how much I actually like Breaking Bad. I didn't yeah. want to make a video on it because there's times when I was into something and then I made a video about it. And for whatever reason, I got so much shit from the audience that I was like, man, yeah. I, mean, maybe I don't want this anymore. Maybe I don't like this thing. But, you know, I'll make it because everyone everyone knows Breaking Bad and it's yeah. kind of gone through an extra trend because of COVID. All right. So, yeah, perfect. Be I'll be Walter White and I'll just be like, Harry, we need to cook, Harry. No, you're more like Walt Jr. Yeah, exactly. With the disease. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. Wait, per- Perry. That's, that's so. Perry, mean. if you um, if you make that video, by the way, you can just like go into the the filter and just put like like poop head and like stuff that like people will say if they if you make that 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 uh YouTube. Oh, that, video. yeah, that's true. Yeah. But like, I mean, I've had I've dealt with mm-hmm. so much shit from people on YouTube already that I'm like I'm used to it now. At the time, like I think it was maybe. A couple of years. I don't know when the Breaking Bad trend was coming back, but that's when I watched it and I loved it. At the time, I had just so much shit I was going through. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother with this right now. Now I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. By the way, if you want an actual podcast question for the first time on this yeah. episode, which is, how do you deal? as an experienced content creator with mm-hmm. negativity from fans and I, I, to kind of subdivide the question a little bit, um, how do you, yeah. how do you deal with it when you actually get like direct negative stuff? How do you, how do you differentiate between, um, negativity that affects how you're going to do your content and negativity that you just ignore and basically just, okay. um, how do you handle that in general? Uh, as, as so are you talking creator? about like, for example, like, you know, a comment that, you know, some random kid leaves, like, your video sucks, like, you know, right. just something simple like that, versus an actual constructive criticism comment about something I could have done better, or... Yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. Like, how do you yeah. how do you separate the wheat from the chaff when it comes to yeah. stuff that's going to help your content versus stuff that's just abuse at that point? Yeah, because that's one thing that's always important to remember is, like, you know, most, like, I'd say 90 plus percent of hate comments are just that, just hate comments, and... You know, there's no point in even thinking about them. Right. The ones that hit harder are the ones that are what would be considered like constructive criticism because, you know, if they're pointing out something that you could have done better or maybe pointing out something you did wrong. And it's like it sucks because they're, they're right. That's the thing that makes it suck. Mm-hmm. But it's important to read that with um, almost like a robotic kind of uh, uh, mindset, not an emotional mindset, because, mm-hmm. you know, if you just get hurt by it and be like, oh, like, why did they say that? It's making me feel like bad and stuff. No, you have to look at it and take what you can from it. And that goes for all hate comments. Like if if there's something you can take out of it and actually improve your videos or your content for, that's awesome. Otherwise, it's best just to, you know, just literally ignore it and not even worry about it. Hey, Perry, check your DM. Okay, we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, t- uh, Spaghetto sent me a very explicit DM, so I'm not. I don't know if I'll be able to share that one with the podcast. He said, "Perry, you suck," and I don't know. It's something about that kind of language mm-hmm. around here is a little bit disturbing. Oh, hold up. Yeah, we were talking about hate oh, comments. Dang. I just wanted to see how well he held up with it. You know, dang nabbit. <laughs> see if All he's this... being honest. I will say dang. though, the funny thing is that uh, what the worst thing um, is if I get like because you know, if I get a hate comment from some random person or whatever, I don't care. It means nothing. But if I get like a DM on Discord, for example, from maybe mm-hmm. someone who has been like a regular watcher, like maybe I've uh, even chatted with them a little bit or whatever the case, if they send something negative to me, then that's when it hits the hardest because it's like this is someone I, I kind of care about, actually. And then I have to really take it into consideration instead of just brushing it off like anything else. And, and the worst part is because they like you, you know that they actually like you and your content. You know that they're not just leaving like a hate comment out of jealousy or something like they're actually trying to help you. So, you know, it's it's important to take those into consideration, but those are the hardest hitting of any kind of negativity or hate. I see what yeah. you mean, and I actually remember my first hate comment. I just hit a thousand subscribers, and the hate comment was like a four paragraph detailed list of like how shitty <laughs> my content was. I know exactly what you're and talking I, about. Yeah, uh-huh. and I pinned the comment, yeah. and it cracked me up, and I still know exactly where it is. And then a bunch of my fans started fighting with the guy in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I've seen people do so that. So there's just uh-huh. like this really old thread of just them going to war with each other. But hate comments, like, whatever, fine. But part of the reason I took a break mm-hmm. for a long time is I was getting death threats. and Death threats? What did you do? Was, I, I don't want to go too okay. much into it because I don't want to, like, resurface these people. Yeah, I get that. But I pissed off, like, a... And other another community of people mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. I guess I was like I don't know they just didn't like me as a content creator and they got they all like rallied together and they were trying to like find my address and dox that me is and so like, weird just and destroy my channel and it was that was that was a lot to put on like someone who was like what eighteen years old no I I, I understand one hundred percent what you went I'm through gonna... and what you've gone through. I'm going to write my PhD thesis on every issue I have with Spaghetto's channel, and it's going to be like 15 pages long. <laughs> that's fine. It'll be my dissertation. Hey, I just got a nice comment. Wow, that's really cool. That's See, that's positivity right there. Like, I'm fine with positivity, but the second you're like, yeah, I'm going to murder you, mm. that made me uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. No, I 100% get that, because I've gone through that before, and it's always people who just... Like, for whatever reason, don't like you for some reason. And I don't know, it's either jealousy or maybe you mm-hmm. said something bad about a character that they like or an opinion that you just don't agree with. They just don't agree with it. They just hate Weird. you for no reason. Yeah, and like, and for me, like, I, I understand that now. But when I was er- dealing with it early on, it was hard to understand because I couldn't, like, fathom why. Like, what? Like, dude, I don't know this person. They don't know me. What's the, like, how could they have so much hate that they want to actually, you know, find my address and mess up my <laughs> life? Like, it's crazy to me. There's a, well, there's yeah, a pipe remember, bomb in your mail. Yeah. I remember in my early days of content creation, I was so scared to say, like, anything that would make people mad or, like, mm-hmm. cancel me. Because I YouTube is my dream. Yeah. I still really want... I wanted that to happen. And now that I've kind of settled into, like, I'm comfortable with my own personality, I'm, mm-hmm. just, I'm just being myself and... So you're a rage... Ridiculous. You're a rage baiting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I I just would censor myself heavily because I was scared of like anything or even like just saying like cursing because I didn't want people to like get angry with me. Uh, dang, Nabbit, gosh, darn it, Jilly, Jiminy Wilkers. Now that I'm back into content creation, it just feels a lot more genuine, and I'm I'm happy to just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Um, as for like uh questions perry would you like to hear the final hard-hitting question yes after i hear hear this question i'll go check out like stuff people are saying in the recording stage but i'm all for it okay perry do you believe that women should have the right to vote (laughs) is this a legit question are you trolling do you believe in life after love do you believe that women should have the right to vote perry it's that simple I do believe women should have the right to vote, but this gives me the same energy as I had a question on a Q and A I did on my server once before, and like I'm getting kids asking me, "Envy Perry, what do you think the meaning of life is?" Like they're asking me, like, <laughs> I, I, "Hey man, I'll try to answer." But I I see the angle that that Tristan's going at. He's asking <laughs> you questions to uh, try to get you canceled, so he's asking all the controversy. To be fair, because well, like, if you can get 
a clip of me that could get me canceled on here, your views are going to skyrocket. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you, this is going to... Yeah, yeah Spaghetto, go well, spaghetto no, exposes no, no, no. M.V. Perry. Well, I know. would defend Perry to, to the end, but, like, the only... My angle for this episode has just been, like, I haven't seen a friend in a mm. long time, so I'm just going to cancel fuck him. With them. <laughs> I did notice, by the way, <laughs> last night, Tristan was messaging me, and he was saying, like, you know how Perry has all those subscribers and I don't? And how it used to be the other way around? Well, I, I don't like that, and I want to take him down at least a couple pegs. And it was really kind of fucked <laughs> oh my up for him to say that, but I was like, okay, man, this is this is your, fr- your friend to bring bringing on. I thought you'd want to be nice to him. Mm-hmm. But, um... I muted Lars for a second because he's bullshitting, and I did not say I'm that shit. And I do not need dare more you, drama. Trust so you. Bullshit. You muted. You muted the host of the podcast. <laughs> Rest in peace, Lars. We're all hosts remember. of the podcast. All right, Lars, stop lying. Punish I, him. I, I don't want Perry's audience to come lynch me by my nutsack. Okay, okay chill. You'd like him to lynch you some other way, <laughs> or what do you mean? Yeah, like if if they lynch me by my arm or something, yeah. fine, but not my nuts. Please. No, yeah, no, he's spoken very highly of you, Harry. Uh, did, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. I'm glad to hear that because it is funny because back in the day, that like I said earlier, the story I shared um, earlier in the podcast, Spaghetto was actually like uh, an, an inspiration for me because mm-hmm. I saw that he had you know how many subscribers, whatever, and he was making the DLC content. I was like, yo, this guy's doing it. He can make it, so that you know I can do it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I think. Um, I, I yeah, I think he was been trying to get you on for quite a while, including like uh, several years ago. So this has been quite a long. No, I'm happy to be here. Uh, uh, my DMs on Discord, for example, they're like filled with like a ridiculous amount of people. So I always end up being late to stuff. But yeah. when I when I eventually get around to it, usually absolutely, it's okay, mm-hmm. Perry. After this, I'll just give you my phone number. <laughs> yeah, that'll actually make things easier. I give that to certain people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and is what, what was so, what was your phone number again, Tristan? Oh yeah, it's uh And also that was my actual phone number, Lars. Could you bleep that? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. I'll be sure to bleep it in post. Yeah, for sure. Um I won't forget to do that. No, like actually please. That was yeah, yeah, my no, real I, phone I won't forget I won't completely forget to do that in the editing room. I won't leave it in at all. Don't worry. He'll base boost it to be yeah. like twenty times louder. I won't copy yeah, and paste and then, it. Uh, the <laughs> reverb. Yeah. He'll repeat it. Someone He'll... just said, "Why would you say that?" Well, there's like what eight people. Yeah, it's in like the if chat. I say my social security number is five three one one seven eight nine zero zero. Like it doesn't matter. No one's listening to like actually do anything yeah. about it. Like it doesn't. He's gonna isolate the clip yeah. and then put it on a loop for five minutes, and he'll put the phone number on screen in All text. Right. Perry, I DM'd you my phone number. Uh, hit me up so we can actually talk in a timely we'll fashion. Will do. Okay. Yeah. I like okay, how so every episode I won't, I won't dox you every episode time. Tristan is like by the way in the future guest uh, we're going to do collaborations and talk in the future right guest and then the guest has to be like Haha, yeah because <laughs> like it's awkward for them. <laughs> yeah, I, I, the I, reason I'm doing that is I'm holding a, I'm holding a gun to their leg basically. underneath the table metaphorically that's There's what you're power doing dynamic this is power to never go out here because you invite someone on the podcast and you put them in a corner. It's like, hey, you want to collaborate with me? Huh? You want to collaborate with me? You just kind of force remember, them to do it. I remember when we had. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Um, Perry and I have been trying to collaborate for a long time, though. It's just yeah. things haven't lined up. Yeah. Because when, when we had Jabril's on, you're like, yeah, we're going to do a collaboration video where you narrate your man- me mango with me, right? Right? Me manga? Me manga. <laughs> me manga. Okay, but to be fair, Jabril's wanted to do that. Okay. <laughs> so I see in the recording stage, some people have asked questions. I don't know if anyone who's listening in recording stage right now um, wants to also ask questions. Oh, I, yeah. I didn't see them. Let's take a live but, question yeah. if someone has a mic, by the way. Um, if you have a mic, uh, let, just uh, raise your hand. We'll invite you on to speak. Yeah, and if, if for the ones who don't have mics, I'll answer text questions as well. Okay. Oh, it is on. Okay, Craig is Craig is on. Okay. Okay. How do I? Yeah, I'm gonna invite uh, t- uh, t- Tabitha. Tabitha. This is Peachy Bunny. Pachuni Buddy. Who's Pachuni Buddy? Who's Tabitha? Tabitha. Oh, Peachy Hello? will be after t- Tabitha. Hello, it's Tabitha. Hi, Hi Tabitha. Tabitha. Hello. It's good to Hello. see you. Good to see you again. Good to see you. So I've had a question. Uh. What's your favorite cake flavor? My favorite cake <laughs> flavor. It's hard because I'm not like the biggest cake pr- fan. I'm not super obsessed with it, but I think that cheap birthday cake mix that they have at like the store, it's just called birthday cake. Mm-hmm. Or something has all these sprinkles in it. I like that one pretty good. Yes, 
actually oh. I, I respect that because if they take that mix and just turn it into a cookie like that's that's same, same. like i've had that i've had the ice cream version of birthday cake it's good stuff <laughs> by the by the way right uh, my Mary. fridge and freezer are just full of like desserts oh what is your favorite cake flavor then um Honestly, it has to be chocolate. Yeah, you, you can't go Definitely. wrong with that. For like, for me, it has to be like if it's too dark, dark, dark chocolate, then I'm not gonna be a fan of it. But otherwise, whoa, whoa, I whoa! Can't. He, he, I, I yeah. felt the racism. Oh, in that oh, 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 like, thank you for your time, dark, Tabitha. He, he, he just doesn't. He doesn't like the right. the devil's food cake. You gotta take it out of context. All right. By me. the way, P Perry, <laughs> I noticed how you said like I'm not obsessed. I'm not obsessed with cake. Like you know, I think it's okay. You don't have to be obsessed with cake flavor to. uh to, to have a favorite mm. at that point like that's i know but, I, but no I you're actually, wrong lars no but i actually lean more towards not being a fan okay so that's why i mentioned it Same with ice cream i'm actually okay. not, like it's like slightly to the side of not particularly into it like i'm not gonna go out and look for cake if it's at a party sure sure otherwise i'm not really buying it All yeah right. what about pie you like pie? Did, uh, oh yeah i do like pie okay. um Apple pie, fresh apple pie, good stuff. Mm, yeah. Did Tabitha, did Tabitha have something else, or did she? No, no, no. Off? We disconnected her right when the racism started. Okay. Uh, hey, Peachy, <laughs> Peachone, buddy. Yeah, we, we, Peachone, buddy. We kicked her out. Hi, Peachy. Hi. Hey. Hi. How's it hey. going? Hey. Good to it's see going you. good. Just cutting stickers. Good to see you too. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who don't know, Peachy actually has like an online shop, and she makes like stickers, and she does commissions for art and stuff. So, you know, if you're interested, check her out. Nice. Thank you mm -hmm. for the shout out. Yeah, I'm <laughs> clicking on her. All right, bye right bye. <laughs> Kicking. Oh, no. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna ask, um, what is the most annoying movie trope, like trope to y'all? The most annoying movie trope. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's. I have an answer for this because by the way. there's multiple. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, because Lars, first, Lars, because I, okay. I have mine, but I'll. Okay. I'll, well, Lars writes I'll, every TV tropes article. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, yeah, I'm familiar <laughs> with the website. So okay, my my least favorite trope is the following. Okay. When okay. the it's usually the woman, but it could be the guy in the situation comes into the room and is like, I can't believe you've done this. And then the other person says, wait, no, wait, I can explain. And then they're like, no, <laughs> uh, we're through. And then they just leave. And yeah, you want that discussion. That's to every Hallmark yeah. movie ever. Guys, made. just like, fuck, yeah. I can't, I can't, fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, I, I have an idea for like an SNL skit where it's like, um, what happens mm -hmm. is like the guy's like, no, wait, I can explain. SNL's and good. she's like. Okay, and he's like, "Oh wait, oh really? Uh, yeah, that was my cousin, uh, not a woman I'm seeing." And then like they go get pizza, mm -hmm. and it's like a nice like. And then the movie <laughs> ends. <laughs> like, I'm glad we resolved our conflict. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> What's your least favorite trope, Perry? Go ahead. So my trope. This is kind of a unique one. I don't even know if it fits into trope or not. But like, I was just talking about this with someone the other day. So the thing is, like, I watch a lot of rated R movies. It's my favorite type of stuff, like violence and mm -hmm. guns. I love that kind of <laughs> stuff. People wouldn't think so, considering the wholesome content I create. But you know, I wa I just watch that pretty much for the most part. And this thing that happens in a lot of these like shooter movies and stuff, it really, really bothers me. It, it's just a pet peeve of mine. But there's two things in particular in these types of movies that really annoy the hell out of me. First mm -hmm. thing is. Uh, Oh, I don't know if I if you can mention drugs in this podcast or if it's like is that gonna get Oh yeah, okay, drugs are though, cool. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. I, I, I mentioned meth sure, earlier. Like, he, he wanted to bring well, up breaking they, bad. Go yeah, ahead. I, I forgot. But yeah, so like this thing happens where they'll have a character, they'll have a zoom in, and then they'll show yeah. the character like doing a line of coke, and then he'll be all like, oh, like you know, getting the getting the high from it. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, we get it. They're doing coke. We get it. I've seen this kind of thing so many times mm -hmm. where they do like a full on like 20 second focus on the character doing the line, sniffing it up. And it's just, it's like, it's, it's as if it's supposed to be this shocking scene where we're like, oh my God, he, he did coke, he just did coke. Like, we, we get it, they're gangsters. Like, this isn't that weird. Mm -hmm. and, and like, I'd rather them just be holding a bag of yayo or something, or, you know, somewhere in the background. Like, it doesn't have to be this focused shot every time. And another- Oh my gosh, guys, yeah, he's exactly. doing drugs. It's like, he's it's doing not, drugs. It's not that big of a deal. They're Sorry, I, I, I missed that I was doing a line of coke. <laughs> and, and the other one is similar in the sense that this happens a lot where they'll have a character you know maybe he's in danger maybe he's about to go deal with somebody maybe kill somebody but he'll you know walk outside the door or something and he'll lift the back of his shirt and put it and show that they have that he has a glock or he has like a pistol uh, in, under his pants mm. or whatever oh and my I'm like, gosh i've yes. seen this scene so many fucking times it's like come on i've seen this so many times that it's like they're acting like we're gonna be shocked like oh guys he has a gun in his back pocket under his shirt like that's crazy no i've seen this so many times that it's just old mm -hmm. but that's just like a personal pet peeve i don't even know if that's a trope 
Well, yeah, but what is the? No, that that is kind of a that is kind of a trope because they're always just like, oh, we gotta show that he's he's armed with the strap. Yeah, yeah like, like I jam it in his ass crack and have it stick out of his pants. Yeah, so I'm saying it's like I'm okay with that being there, but I don't want a 20 second scene focusing on that, like showing the For viewers, sure. like, look, guys, he's putting the gun right there in that cool spot to show that he has a gun, and like uh, it's like I've seen it so many times. I'm just bored <laughs> of it. By the way, speaking of uh, armed to the strap, uh, TJ, do you have an answer to this question? What do you mean? Oh, oh, the trope, the trope. Yeah. Uh, question. I, I, I've been, I was thinking about it, uh, I, but I'm still drawing a blank. I know there's like very specific things that yeah. annoy me, but I'm, 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 I'm blanking I out. Have, I have okay. an answer. Yeah. Can you stall so I can think about it? <laughs> okay. Okay. So my least favorite trope when it comes to TV shows and movies, and this is something you see so often, especially mm. in TV shows where something tragic happens that is completely out of the character's control. And they just blame themselves and they turn into like a self pity party shithead. Yeah. And they're just like, no, I could have changed this toy. No, I could have saved them. And then they just completely alienate themselves from every other person they enjoy and love. And they end up suffering from it because then those people are just like looking for them and they usually end up getting captured or hurt because the person is just like, no, I, I, I. I could have saved this person. Now they're dead. Now I'm just going to go off and be by myself. And then their loved ones get attacked. I mean, they just, their relationships are destroyed because this guy's being a, a shithead because like, uh, I don't know, like someone bombed a bridge and he like didn't save all the cars falling off the bridge or something. Oh yeah. They take, they take it to that's, personal. Yeah. It's like, uh, in Schindler's yes, list yeah. when he's like, Oh, I could have saved more Jews. Yeah. Well, that's that's very real though in some it's, situations. I was gonna say, isn't that a bit rooted root in reality yeah. where people do blame themselves? <laughs> yeah, that's for, pretty normal. For, no, for but like, hold events. on, hold on, hold on. Like, I I don't care. I'm tired of seeing it. Okay. okay. Like, so if just... if a real guy went through a, a tragedy that he couldn't help, but he has survivor's guilt or like, something, this is, you're just this is a like, movie trope. Movie no, trope. No, no, I do no, not appreciate. This, this, no, this isn't survivor's guilt though. This is like. They're mad that they they thought that they had the power to stop it. Like, You're saying you're mad because they never had the opportunity in the first place. So why are they blaming themselves? Yeah, yeah, like, like why they're should, so self centered. Like, they have tried to stop like they crystal think that they had, and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Well, Tristan, it's it's okay I for people stop to like, my family from dying in the car. Yeah, accident, like it's like, okay for that people to be upset. Like, I'm fine with people being upset, but this is different. <laughs> they're just like. Oh my gosh, I hate I it when people have feel- I like, hate there's it. There's no possible way they could have. I, ha- I hate it when people experience grief. I have no, no empathy or emotion. Okay, <laughs> I'm a like, psychopath. No, that, <laughs> it's impossible. They're just like, I'm so full of myself that I could have stopped one of the most horrible atrocities from happening on this earth. Mm. And then it happens, and they're like, mm. shit, I'm going to be like a sad sack of shit now and be a dick to my family and loved ones for the rest of the season. Yeah, trust and be no. like, so what I would do is I play. would build a time machine and go back and prevent it from exactly. happening. Yeah, tr- trust like, is just like, like a stalwart so, that wall simple. of like nothingness. He's just like, I don't feel guilt for a single thing, and if anyone else ever does, just screw them <laughs> enough. With with people's emotions. No, 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 this part. No, okay. You know what, Lars? The person's just like, I feel so sad. I could have stopped it. Like, no, you couldn't have stopped Jesus's crucifixion because it happened thousands of years yep. ago. Unless you had a time machine. Yeah. Oh my! God. A hot tub <laughs> time machine, Tristan. A hot tub time machine. Yeah, that's that's an idea for a sequel to a, a, a third hot, hot tub, tub time, time machine, machine movie where the three three Jesus uh, two electric boogaloo. <laughs> See. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, straight out of Nazareth. You know what? No, yeah, G- uh, Harry, yeah, straight out of Nazareth. Let's do That's it. Let's the, do it. Yeah, title. let's make this movie. Peachy Bunny. Peachy Bunny says she hates live action remakes. Me too, man. And honestly, I agree. That's I mean, a good. That's like, a better answer than Tristan gave. Yeah, yeah for sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like the, mm. the live action remakes, though the Dumbo live action remake was actually kind of good because yeah, yeah, they yeah did a good job. Yeah, with the casting. but but Tristan, like, just think about every other live action remake ever in comparison. I Listen, mean, all I'm saying is Danny DeVito in the Dumbo movie. Yeah, was but, but that's Danny. 101 DeVito. Dalmatians oh. back in the 90s wasn't that bad. Like the live action. Yeah. I liked I liked the live action ones. Those were good. And the early 2000s Peter Pan remake was good. Yeah, was all, all these new like Disney ones that keep getting yeah. pumped out like every 
three months. I'm not. They're doing it. They're doing it too much. Is the problem? Or or at all? I will say though, the jung the Jungle Book live action remake was great. That was one of the early ones, actually, one of the first ones that they started doing. It was like in 2017. Yeah, that That movie was. There were parts of that that I enjoyed. I don't know if I liked all of it, but there were parts of it that I remember, and I was like, okay, that was not. Listen, all I'm saying is, if Scarlett Johansson was a giant anaconda constricting me. Mm -hmm. Aren't the, did anyone ever see <laughs> did the anyone Popeye ever movie see? from the late? The, yeah, I did see that the, the, movie. That one was the Popeye was movie like from that. yeah, it was it was like from like 1980, yeah, and it had weird. Robin Williams like, in it. Yeah, that was yeah. Bad. Uh, wait. Aren't, um, aren't, aren't they remaking uh, Titanic into a live action movie? <laughs> no, they better not, because like. Guys, we need to watch the sequel to the yeah. Titanic. Titanic. There actually is that one sequel. of those Asylum movies. No, guys, there actually there, Asylum no, there actually is a Titanic too. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Yeah, let's watch it. It's one of those Asylum yeah. movies, the Titanic 2. It's like one of those direct-to-DVD kind of things. Did, so, um, there, oh, are animated, yeah, on, there are animated there are animated versions of, of Titanic I've that yeah. I've heard of. There's like two animated versions that are like Dis- just sort of Disney like Dis- version, Disney like rip-off. Disney just make well, do that. That would be funny. Yeah. They're like they're Disney rip-offs of Dude. Yeah, the rip-offs dude, of Disney. Disney should start an actual Disney one. Disney should start doing it the other way around where they start making like non-live action remakes of everything. Where it's like they go back to their animation they roots. Should. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Mm-hmm. Like it, um, the, pas- the passion, the live action, like the passion movie of the Christ or something into like an animated like slaughter film or something. I would watch that. Oh, yeah. No, it's a, a solid Passion of the Christ like no, no, no. animated. I would you watch got, that. Yeah, you have to take a live action Disney movie like Flubber and then turn that into an oh, animation. Oh, okay. Oh, hello, hello, Clef, drunk with power. Did you have a question? The Lizzie McGuire movie. Did, actually. Oh, good to hear. Yeah, so in your most recent video, you ranked Mario movies you could beat in a fight. Yes, I actually uh, forgot that one my... 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, and my question is kind of based off of that, and mm-hmm. it's which Mario movie character would you go uh, go out with on a date? Would, who mm-hmm. would I go out with on a date in the Mario movie? Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about it. It's like, I... Donkey Kong. It would have. I mean, I love Bowser. I'm not gay, so I won't say Bowser. But if I was, Bowser. Was <laughs> but like me, actually, it would probably just have to be Peach. Like I don't really see any yeah. other options. Like, yeah. Who else is there? Pe- yeah, Peach. The- Can we expand uh, it to just Mario? The Mario. Any Mario character? Mario like Ro- Ro- the literal. One yeah, like woman? Rosalina yeah, like, or Daisy. Like, well, if we're talking about the like the princesses, I like Rosalina the best. Yeah. I like her vibe. I like her fit. She's cool. Rosalina has um, the like the emo swoop with her hair that kind of like. Yeah, takes no, back. she's cool. Yeah. I like Rosalina. What about Pauline? Yeah. Ooh, Pauline's cool, but she's not my type. What about We Fit Trainer? Okay. We fit trainer. I could. I could oh, yeah. what We're about like ultimate now? What about Wendy? Wait, 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 Wendy Koopa. Nah, what about Wario? Okay, nah. Wario? Okay, Wario. I'll, I'll think about. What that. about like Princess Birdo. Wario? What's like Wario's Princess Peach equivalent? Is they were actually going to do that, but then they decided not oh, to. God. They were going to do it for Mario because Tennis because I think they were realizing like yeah. people could only get so erect. So it's like they wanted to. Yeah. Like... <laughs> All right, guys. I think it's time to wrap yeah. up. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Was there any last question? Or was that it? Yeah. Because yeah. then we can do the wrap up. Yeah. All right then. I have a last question. Okay. Mm-hmm. Harry, if that is yeah. your real name. Mm-hmm. If people were listening to this episode and they heard your dulcet tones and they were looking to find out more about you and they wanted to check out your stuff, how can they do that? Like like promo, basically. Yeah. Like this is my this is when I plug. Yeah, plug. Okay. So, yeah. So uh, if you guys don't already follow me on youtube or whatever you can check out my youtube channel which is what i do for the, the most like i have an instagram and a discord but youtube is what i do and that is my youtube channel mv perry i have other channels like mv perry fandoms or mv perry hangout mv perry hangout i just react to stuff but if you just want to follow me on a more personal level you can follow my instagram which is underscore mv perry underscore if you just search up mv perry you should find it and my discord server um there are links to my server in the description of my videos if you want to join that there's about 40k people there and it's really crazy but we do all sorts of fun events like karaoke night and giveaways for things. I'm going to do a Nintendo Switch probably giveaway tomorrow. So, yeah, that'll be really fun. Nice. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for having me on the podcast. It's been great. Thank you for coming. And uh, TJ, if people wanted to listen to your music, what's the best way they can do that? Uh, I'm on SoundCloud and I'm just under the name I usually use, which is Tiege, uh, T-I-E-G. Okay. Hey, so, Tristan. Yeah. Tristan. Sorry, I nodded off. I'm okay, tired. Preston. Tre- tre- Tristan, <laughs> if people have been Bestin. impressed in with your performance Lestin. this episode, and they wanted to check out your many new videos of content Bestin. coming out, 
Shut the fuck up, TJ. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, so, all right. So, Zestin. Tristan, if people wanted to check out some of the uh, the new content coming out that includes videos with me and yourself, what's the best way to do that? YouTube.com slash Spaghetto. Tune in for some fiery content full of sauce and extra swears. From here. And how do you spell Spaghetto? Uh, that was very funny, Lars. I didn't kick you. It is... It is just the word spaghetti, but with an O on the end instead of an I. It's the singular form of spaghetti, which is spaghetto, a spaghetto noodle. And if you wanted spaghetti, you want to tune into new episodes of the podcast, just do what you're doing, man. You're already here listening, if you're listening to the cutdown version on YouTube or... So, Perry, uh, in this current socioeconomic status, how do you feel about... The All new right. coming of Let's racial go slurs. Ahead. I'm going to go ahead and mute uh, Tristan. I'm going to actually <laughs> advertise our podcast. So what you do is you go to the you go to the grocery store, you right, go to the soup aisle, DJ you get well. a can. Okay, guys, All if right. you're listening to the podcast now and you want to hear more episodes, you're already in the right place. Just keep going. Just go listen to other episodes of the show. They feature uh, Spaghetto, myself, and TJ, as well as other guests, other creators. If you're into the whole watching YouTube thing, you've probably heard some of the other guests that we've had on the show. So just go look through the list of episodes, pick a, a guest that you're familiar with, and start there. You really can't go wrong. Uh, T1podcast.com if you want to find us on other platforms. And uh, that's going to do it. Uh, we had Treston take us out. I think, TJ, you should uh, take us uh, uh, away. Somewhere. Up, 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 yeah. and away. Perry, when are we going on a date? Uh, it's fine to stop recording now, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm, hey I'm, I'm, I'm ending this. Okay. okay. T -T -T I was ahead. asked to end it. I'm one that's going to end it. So, uh, bye. Bye. That was so, that was <laughs> awful, TJ. That was just, <laughs> yeah. You want to try again, bud? Okay. Okay, go ahead. All right, this is the first podcast over and out. All right, that's, that's passable. Okay. Assable.